yesterday. Oh shit. And it was dry. So before you go, okay. Too far. I'm not gonna go too far. Imagine oh, we run out of fuel. You. You're rolling, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Okay. We might need fuel. Pressure's coming up. Car is charging. So you've got your amp gauge there. You have your oil uh, temp there, oil pressure here, coolant temp, fuel gauge. Uh, and we are about to take our first ride in Stradman's white on white 1988 Countach. And the first thing I notice is that mirror is needs to be adjusted uh, manually. If somebody can guide me. Uh, let's see here. Car sounds really strong so far. Idles good. I feel some cold AC, so it looks like they service the AC nicely. This is the first drive after basically doing a major service on this car, which essentially a major service on a Countach is going to be engine out. And here we go. And we are off on the road. Okay, so let's see. AC is blowing very cold. So when we did the engine out, part of the engine out service was to actually redo the AC lines, you redo the dryer, uh, put a new compressor and go through all of that. It really makes the AC much, much colder on a Countach when you update everything uh, using basically all original components, just brand new. Uh, so the AC is cold. I do hear, so the blower motor or something is making a funny noise. It's like making a ticking noise, which is a little annoying. Um, I might shut that off for a second. I ah, will leave it on. It is a hot day. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not, not going to do that to Albert. Uh, but yeah, it is making an annoying noise. So we got to check that. Clutch feels really good. Um, when the engine was out, in addition, we also changed the clutch, which includes the flywheel, pressure plate, and the throwout bearing. You know, that's probably around $6,000 in parts. I have to look at the details, but it's not cheap. You know, the, the clutch disc, disc itself is probably $1,000. And, um, but for everything you're talking, it, it's not it's not the cheapest clutch in the world. Oh, and something just died. We gotta check that. <laughs> so let's see. Um, so the car just died, and I don't know if it's maybe the battery terminal, uh, but it just quit. I'll have to check if we change the ignition box so far. This is the first test since the engine's been back in, and new clutch and fresh gaskets and seals. And when you're doing the engine out, the other thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to change all the gaskets and seals. Um, head gaskets, valve cover gaskets. We need to fix the glove box here. Let's see. Wow. A lot of power. The car feels very, very good. Obviously, the glove box needs to be fixed, and this little pin here is missing. We haven't really detailed this car. You can see it's still dusty and dirty. We've done no cosmetic work to this. James actually asked us if we would leave it as is. He wants to drive and enjoy it, but we're not going to deliver it that way. We want to clean the interior. We want to go through everything. And so far, she is driving great. We've got great oil pressure. Temp is almost perfect. We'll probably see this go a touch higher once we get it up to temp. Oil temp has not moved yet. That should move, and it's charging perfect. Horn works. Wow, and it feels great. Clutch grabs perfectly. A lot of power. running awesome I don't I can't see if there's a car next to me if 
but I am gonna go right here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take this left here. Idle's pretty good. Um, I actually like these cars to idle a touch higher. Um, just I, what I've noticed is when they get a little hot, the idle comes down sometimes, but idle's good. Let's start testing everything else. The lights are working, functioning. I see the light switch here, turn signals are working. So the lights can go off, let's see. Perfect, still charging, alternator working, charging system good. AC is still blowing cold and blowing strong, which is great. This is not the best AC in the world, but for a Countach, it's really damn good. And let's check. So, original radio here. This is an Alpine 7273. This is what was installed. And these cars, the earlier Countaches actually had an antenna in the windshield. These cars had an antenna on the rear, so they get a little better reception. There's a little feedback. I don't know if you guys hear that. There's a little feedback from the radio, which is pretty annoying. Um, we're gonna have to check that and maybe change the amp. But that radio works beautiful. I don't have a cassette with me. Um, I would try that as well normally. Huh, but so far the car's running great. We're at temp, oil pressure's great. We put new tires on this car as well, so radio's working good. We do have to check the ground or something because there's a funny noise uh, that's coming through. And actually, I'm probably gonna go this way and around and we'll start to head back to the showroom. Since this is the first drive, my goal is to just sort of check the major things, bring it back, check for any leaks, check to make sure all the gaskets seated perfectly. The clutch is great, so no concerns there. A lot of power, the, the cooling system's working great. So really have not too many concerns, and the gas light just came on. So we uh, are definitely gonna make it back to the showroom uh, to put more gas. We're actually running a race fuel in this car now. Um, these cars just run so much better. When we do the engine out, we're also doing ignition wires, we're doing ignition box, uh, we're doing spark plugs, etc. cetera, um, and, and always putting in really, really good fuel. Uh, these cars love a higher octane, um, and, and definitely, you know, the street fuel runs fine. When we were on the Countach rally, uh, throughout Monterey and we had to put 91 octane in the cars uh, because that was all that was available in California. The cars absolutely hated it. The second the Countach has arrived back to Miami and were able to run on 93, they loved it. So to run these cars on 100 octane is definitely perfectly fine and, they, and, and you could feel they like it. You know, let me check the hazard you know what, I don't think the hazards are working, so we gotta, oh, no, they are, actually. Great, okay. Window up. And you know what, that means probably a little grease. The window feels a little difficult. Uh, let's check if the clock here is working. It looks like it is working. Interior light is not working, we've gotta fix that. So really it looks like just a few minor details. We're gonna bring her back to the showroom and then over the next couple days, I'm gonna start taking her on the highway. We'll check the alignment. Um, we've actually done, during this process, we've done a, a brake flush. We've also changed the tires. These are original specs, so they're Pirelli P7 tires that Pirelli makes now. Second gear is just awesome in these cars. And you hear that engine is just... And there's always a little, it's sort of cool, I love it. It's common with the cars, you'll hear vibration uh, through, the, through the shifter uh, because it's just, you have so much going on and the transmission is right here and it literally comes up through the cockpit. Now we're gonna check the brakes. And the brakes actually feel really good for a Countach. We're not, these are not carbon ceramics on a new Ferrari, but they feel great. And oil temp is starting to come up, which is perfect timing. And you'll see these cars, imagine, don't actually get up to full temp 
until about 20 minutes of driving, 10 minutes of driving. So we're not even up to full oil temp. So I'm not gonna push the car too hard or rev it or beat it too hard. Um, I'm sort of shifting right around 4,000, 4,500 RPM. We're not gonna go that much more before all of the oil is warmed up in the, in the car. And really it's just a few minor details. I wanna take it on the highway, see how everything feels. We'll check the suspension bushings um, and we'll really start to just check everything. But I think we are almost done uh, for James to basically make it across country in a Countach. Not a feat uh, for any guy. I, I really commend him and I'm excited for him to do this. And we're almost done with this car. Uh, we should actually check check the wipers and we don't have anything here so we've got to check the wipers probably need to fix that as well so so close final touches some cosmetic details a few little buttons and things like that will fix but we are almost there thank you guys again for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like we have a ton more content coming and i'm excited to take the stradman kuntash on the highway over the next couple days do you think there's any chance that the Stradman's gonna make it all the way across the country without breaking anything? I think there's a very good chance that he's gonna make it. You know, we had 26 Countaches in the Countach rally, four of those broke, and honestly, of those three cars, of those four cars, three were ignition box issues. So as long as we have a new ignition box, I think we're gonna be good. These cars are pretty resilient. The, the bad sort of, uh, uh, the, the, the connotation of these cars being, you know, braking all the time. I think we've got all the bugs out of this car, almost, and we will get all the bugs out of the car before he, you know, makes it across country. As long as he doesn't beat on it, treat it like it's a race car, these cars can run and run and run.